talk to you guys about Airbnb and all it is is a vacation rental company and the way it works is that uh, you go on the website and hosts which could be anyone that owns a house owns an apartment owns a condominium anything they can put it up for rent as a vacation home so like if I'm going to uh, downtown Dallas and I'm going to a concert or something and I need to stay near that area I can go on Airbnb and stay at one of those condominiums or houses or whatever it may be. And um, the last ten, the last ten trips I've been on, I've used it because it really helped me out because of the prices, the comfortability, and a lot of things that came along with that. So I just want to tell you guys that, like, if you go to a five-star hotel, you're gonna spend a lot more money, obviously. And Airbnb, since it's a person just having an extra room or an entire house that they're just trying to get some money out of they will tell it or rent it out much cheaper a lot of times websites like hotline they have this deal that you put in a prize or you put in how many stars you want and then you get a random hotel i i don't i don't really like that at all because you don't know what you're getting until you pay for it and that's not very convenient for a lot of people and um one of the examples i found was this, uh, South Padre, spring break. Obviously, you know, you, you think it'd be really expensive, it's gonna be some ridiculous price. So I found on hotel.com hotel a room, regular room, $200 a night, or $219 a night, and then they charge you $200 in fees. This is just the living room of an apartment with two bedrooms, a kitchen, and everything. I mean, it has so much more space than, than this and it's a $170 difference. So I mean, it obviously saves you a lot of money and you can get a lot more out of it. I'd rather stay at a place that the living room is as big as the entire room of a hotel than, you know, each other. And also, uh, a lot of times when you stay at a studio with your friends, you don't really have privacy. If you go with your girlfriend and you're with your two buddies in the other bed, you're not gonna be comfortable because you can't, you know, can't enjoy yourself. <laughs> But uh, also, uh, it's really unique sometimes. Like, I literally found a castle that you can rent in another country in the United Kingdom. I mean, that to me is beyond any experience you could have. I found a villa in Greece that you can stay at. It comes with, uh, I guess, a lake or whatever right next to it. And then a seashell house. I mean, it's just, it's out there. It's com I mean, it's not the same as a hotel because when someone builds a house, you know, they ha have an architect and they're not trying to build for like conformity to have a bunch of people in the same place. It's much different than when you're building a house that you're building for, you know, a family or some, someone different. And then I also found uh, this modern glass tree house in Atlanta. I, I just, I mean, I'd much rather stay there in a hotel any day. And uh, I also found that when you go on vacation, if you stay at a Holiday Inn, you're normally in like the area of the commercial area, so you're not really around what you really want to be around because if you go to another country, you want to soak in the culture, you want to be around everything and not be separated where all the tourists are. It's not as fun and it's not the same. And then locations. Um, I'm personally Col Colombian, so I looked up Bogota and then I found a bunch of areas that you can rent out and then Dubai. Uh, these are the famous islands that they man-made and you can also rent over there um, I went I looked at Thailand I looked at Dallas and then I looked at New Zealand so I mean it's unlimited possibilities they uh they're in over 190 countries so I mean and then and then they're adding every day so it's not gonna change um, I personally like I said I, I've used it a lot and for like my birthday, I'm renting a, a loft right in front of the bomb factory. It's where I'm going to a concert. And uh, when I was trying to look for hotels, there's nothing right nearby because that area doesn't really have hotels. And I wanted to find something within walking distance. So I went off on Airbnb and I literally found something within 20 feet, like walk outside the door and the venue's right there. I mean, that's perfect. And then, uh, well, that's it actually. And so when you use a hotel, or when you use a hotel anymore, it's kind of out of date. Everything is just trying to sell to you and not show you what you could really enjoy, in my opinion. Because if you stay at someone's 
apartment that you know they decorated and everything it's much nicer than just staying at a regular hotel that gives you free towels and free continental breakfast and typical things and uh, I just want to tell you guys to save money and be comfy and use Airbnb